Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. In this video, we're going to cover web development on demand. Who should and shouldn't dive into this business model? Let's get into it. All right. So if you guys missed it, right, I recently dropped a video called on tap gold mine for developers, right? And this is the video. It seems to be taking off. A lot of people are interested in this. And I think it's because a lot of people are starting to understand the power of having skills that you can use outside of a job, not only working for a company full time, but also to having skills that you can actually take with you to then from there make income for yourself independently. Okay. Especially nowadays, as you guys can see, layoffs and all of the stuff that things have been happening in the industry right um a lot of people are starting to understand like the power of being an entrepreneur and being someone who can make their own bread so you don't depend on nobody right so again i dropped this video again taking off and people have been asking for me to go in and do the series right thanks for the info man great video yes please do a series so yes this is the first video of the series and the reason why i'm making this video to be the first one of of the series is that it's so important for people to understand that this isn't for everybody okay same way how we have this guy over here who his name is masajuya sarapai says thanks for the info man great video yes please do a series this is the real deal right same way how he's excited there's also going to be people who is like nah 500 dollars a month on a mom and pop shop Good luck with that. $5,000 a month equals no clients. Have you seen the economy? So right there, we can see there's a line in the sand, okay? There's two type of individuals. One that is going to say, yo, this is shit. It's not for me, right? And there's another one that's going to say, yeah, I see the opportunities. I see the potential. I see what I can do with this information. Now, I want to go in and start breaking it down who this thing is not for, okay? And the reason that is, is because I don't want you to waste your time and even watch anything beyond this part of the series if this is not for you. Okay. So I'm going to start it off with this. Number one, this isn't for the guys that only work on their job, meaning that they only show up to work. They only code, right? Whenever they are work and that's it, that's automatically not for you. Number two, this is for those guys that believe that they have to build everything from scratch this isn't for you you cannot have this business working and making the most money that you can by trying to build everything from scratch it just doesn't make sense you have to put on your business owner hat forget being an engineer forget being a programmer forget being a developer right now you're a business owner okay if you cannot understand that all of these frameworks, tools, right? That's out here. They're just that tools. And there's a tool for every type of problem, right? If you want to solve a problem and you want to solve it quickly, you're going to go in and reach out to maybe AI. You might go out there and reach out to WordPress. You might go out there and reach out to Shopify. You might go out there and reach out to Wix. You might go out there and just use Webflow. So again, if you cannot understand that all of these things here are just tools, same thing as, hey, I have a favorite programming language or, hey, man, I do everything with no JS and next year's bro. If you're that type of guy, this shit is not for you. Okay. Because in this game, the way how you make money is to be able to solve problems fast. Okay. It's not about trying to flex how much, you know, right? How good of a developer you are. No, you leave that shit for the guys that work nine to fives, right? And they just want to stay there forever. They want to do their nine to five, leave them there. Right? Number three, this isn't for people that is looking to get convinced. You shouldn't be needing somebody to convince you to try to make money on the side and to have skills that are used outside of your job. No one needs to convince you like this channel and everything that we do on, on this channel and on this series from here on, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm putting the information there 
those that want to do it are going to do it. Those that don't want to do it and are naysayers and like, man, this shit can't be done. This shit is not for you. Do not watch this series because your mind is not going to be able to comprehend it. So I'm just being honest. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't want to be sounding like an asshole, but shit, bro. Like some of you guys, y'all too square. You know what I'm saying? I can't have squares in this circle. The squares stay over there. The circle stay over here in the circle. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Another thing that I will say is that if you already come in with this loser mentality of, man, no way people are making this much money. No way this is possible. No way this guy could do this. No way this guy got a Lamborghini. No way this guy is making this much money on millions of dollars on drop shipping. This guy's making millions of dollars in, in design. There's no way Design Joe is making a million dollars with 24, 25 clients, etc. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if you're that type of individual, like, bro, this is not for you. You're one of those people that automatically deny everything, even though the information is there. And sometimes you see people that's already winning and in your head, you're like, nah, this gotta be a scam. There's no way that this shit is possible. This shit is not for you, bro. You could watch from the bleachers while some of us be out here in the field and we're playing. Okay. It's just, it is what it is. We have to put that line in the sand and keep some of y'all over there and keep some of us on this side. Now, who is this for, right? Who is going to kill it with this business model? It's very simple, right? The guys that are go-getters, those guys that understand that when they go to work, they're doing some type of development at their job, but that there's a world outside of this job and outside of this industry where they work at. Also too, the guys that have been working in agencies, the guys that have been working in the mom and pop shops, right? Small businesses, y'all know the potential that's here. It's just about now implementing it the right way so you can succeed with this business model and to make money, okay? If you understand that this game is about making money and it's not about being like uh, this top developer, this flexor, online flexor with 10,000 GitHub stars, and you could care less about that shit, you're gonna do great in this because you're gonna look at all of these things as tools that's gonna help you generate income. Also, this is going to be great for those of you guys that have an open mind to new skills. This is not going to be for someone that's going to be closed in, okay? Meaning that you just keep your head down and all you do is code, okay? For you to understand how to help businesses grow and to help them generate more income, which is the way how you're gonna get paid, the more money you're gonna make is really coming from results. Initially, you're gonna have to put in the work, but you make the most money once you have proven results. But guess what? It's not just code that you need. You need to pay attention to business. You need to pay attention to marketing. You need to pay attention to design. You need to pay attention to data and analytics. So yes, you're a great developer, but you suck at all of these other things and not willing to learn it, right? Because you're, hey, I'm a developer. Forget about that, right? Forget about that mentality, right? You do that shit on the nine to five. When you're an entrepreneur and you're opening up a new business, you're gonna have to wear multiple hats and you're gonna have to go in and learn about multiple skills that's gonna help your business grow. And guess what? This business is about helping other businesses to grow, okay? So if you don't understand that for yourself, you can't do that shit for nobody else either. If you have that open mind, then yeah, you're gonna be killing it in this. Now, the final thing that I will say before we even move on to any of the videos in this series is, very simple. Don't look to me as a web developer doing web development on demand, right? I'm not doing it myself, right? I'm being super transparent. Now you might say, how the hell can this guy teach me how to do this and set up my business with this business model when he hasn't done it, right? And it's very simple. Every single thing that comes with this type of business model, I've done for myself and for my businesses. You've heard of examples like this where, you know, 
a guy could be a multi-millionaire, right? Goes in, loses everything, and somehow the next year he's a millionaire again, right? All of that knowledge that helped you get to become a millionaire is the same thing that you can do again in another business, as long as it's similar to the business models that you already had, that you already proven yourself. You get what I'm saying? Everything that has to do with web development on demand is pretty much exactly the same thing that I do with Coding Face and my digital agency. The only difference is that I'm not selling the service of web development, okay? On Coding Face, I'm actually going in and selling the service of training people so they can become developers and get into the industry. In my digital agency, I'm able to go in and solve the problem on um, people who have like e-commerce stores and I'm creating the digital products that they need for their businesses to succeed, right? The only part that I'm not selling is my time for development. Everything else around it is exactly what I do with my businesses, okay? So when I go in and I break this down for you guys, I want you guys to understand this and I'm being super transparent. I am not doing web development on demand because I just don't have the time. This is a great business model for someone who has the time, who can put in the work, who can sit down and build this up, right? I already did that with my businesses. I don't have the time to go in and build another business, not at this moment especially when I'm building a software as a service. So I got codingphase.com, digital agency, still gotta manage my niche websites, and I have a software as a service that's coming out right now that helps artists actually go in and promote themselves online. So yeah, <laughs> and I got three kids and one kid on the way. My life is very busy, okay? So at the end of the day, when I put this information out here, I do it because I know there's somebody out there that's just like me, that's a go-getter and can see the value of this information, right? Like I said on my last video, this thing has been done with design, right? So you have Design Joy, which is a great example, but then you have all of these other type of industries that have done it, right? Everything from, you know, plumbing to uh, HVAC from freaking the guys that do power washing. Like this is a model that has worked before and has been proven to work. There is no reason why web developers are not running the same type of business model for this industry. Okay, so again, this is why I'm doing with this series. I hope that you guys like it, you guys enjoy it. Like I said, guys, you know, if you want to learn how to code or you want to get into the game, you're struggling how to get a job, getting into the tech industry, guys, this is why we do, right? This is what my main business is, codingphase.com. We set up that training, we go in and teach you guys the skills that you need, right? We don't teach coding as a hobby right? Learn the skills that are worth actually learning something. You know what I mean? Like come in, check it out, check out the service, check out the platform, right? This is my bread and butter right now. Okay. This is where I come in and I help people, right? So again, going back to what I was saying initially, everything that we do on codingphase.com is the exact same things that you're going to be doing on your own businesses, right? But again, I sell the training. I sell the service of coaching people and helping them get into the tech industry, right? Help them get the first job. That's my service. With Web Development On Demand, you're gonna be using the skills that you have to solve problems for businesses and you're selling them that service. But everything that we do on coding phase, right, is the exact same thing that you're gonna be doing for web development on demand, okay? So again, guys, if you wanna learn how to code, go to codingphase.com. Um, you wanna build your portfolio, uh, get a better portfolio, check out portfolioblueprint.com. Um, again, I'm gonna put a, a couple of links in the description, take advantage of the discounts that's in there. Uh, but again, I'm super excited for this series. This is going to be a game changer for a lot of you guys, right? And again, the line in the sand has already been drawn, okay? 
You could be on that side, you could be on this side. It's up to you, right? I'm just putting the information out there for those that want it and those that want to go in and, you know, follow this this whole business model. And again, in the next video, we're going to get into what the business model is and how to make money with it, okay? Because in the previous video that I created, that was just the first introduction. That was just letting you know, hey, man, web development on demand is a thing, okay? Then from here, this is the filter. This video is supposed to filter some of you guys out and supposed to keep some of you guys in, okay? If you feel a little turned off, you don't like something that I said, whatever it is, guess what? Go over there, there's the squares, there's circles here. Everyone has their own niche, their own communities. But again, for those of you guys that want this, this is what we're gonna be dropping on the next couple of videos and I hope you guys enjoy it.